Hi there, welcome back to Rosin by Drew. Um, now, when I look at this mould, I see a peacock. Now, I think I've told you before, my art, my drawing, anything like that. I love crafting, adore crafting, anything to do with crafting I love. But my drawing, my artwork is absolutely abysmal. So I've printed off a very, very basic picture of a peacock from the internet. And I'm going to try and set down these glass chippings. Some of them I've made myself in the colours that I've wanted. For example, the green ones I've made myself. That blue I've made myself. The purple I've made. Um, and the silver. But the, these blue, the royal blue purpley ones I've bought. So I'm going to try and lay down the chippings in the shape of a peacock um, so that I can have the feathers the tail feathers up here like this so let's see how we get on I thought if I laid them down while the moulds without any resin in first of all if it doesn't go well at least I've not wasted all the chippings and got all of it to clear out I can just empty the chippings back out into the right place if it does go well then I can pour some resin onto the chippings and um, once that's dried then fill up with the fill up backfill it with the rest of the resin so that it's filled up to the line so I'm just trying to do a roundish body for the um, the peacock um, although I think it's I think it needs to be a bit this is going to be his head and his neck. I mean, it's never going to be a perfect peacock shape because I'm making it out of glass chippings and resin. But if I can get the idea, then I will be very happy. Um, so this is the head and the neck and the wings. I'll get some little black ones um, for the um, for the beak um, and an eye. Right. So that's his head and his neck. I think he might want a little bit more on his head. And then I think for his wings, I'm going to do the lighter blue. I don't want the chippings too high. I don't want them to sit above the, um, the mould. So I'm just trying to keep them relatively flat, but still give dimension as well. And I think I'm going to do his wings in the lighter blue. Too bad. Not the greatest peak I can ever see, but this is a very basic drawing that I'm working from as well. And then if I do the legs, the beak and the eye, then the rest of it um, can be his tail feathers. Well, that's my thinking behind it anyway. So I'm going to pause the camera rather than you sit and watch me um, just 
move stone chippings about I'll pause the camera for a little while and I'll bring you back once I've done the legs um, and the beak and the eye and made a start on the tail feathers and show you where I'm up to so I will see you very shortly I filled it all in with the coloured stones to get the little uh, chippings it's not looking much like um, a peacock to me but what I've thought is I'm going to put a, um, a layer of resin on now, let that dry and then I think I'm going to try and go over the resin in a Pebio Cern Relief marker and then put another layer of resin on top of that and hopefully the outline from the um, Cern Relief marker will give me um, the peacock look if you like um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm undecided, but we'll see what happens. So I'm go just going to mix some resin up um, and then I'll be back to drizzle some resin on, get a good thin layer on there. And then um, I'll leave that, leave that to set up and cure. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I've mixed 150 grams of resin up so far and I'm just going to gently pour it on because I don't want the chippings to start moving. I don't know if it'll be enough resin or if I'll need to make some more uh, but um, I thought 150 would be a good place to start I don't want this layer to be too deep because I do want to go over with um, a Pebio Cern Relief to do the outline and try to make it look a little bit more like a peacock. I think 150 grams might be about the right amount actually to be fair. I have got a few um, of the chipping sticking up a little bit but they'll be covered by the next layer of resin um, I just didn't want this layer to be too deep because I didn't I want like I say I want to do the same relief on top as well so it's not looking very much like a peacock to me but hopefully once we've got some same relief on there it um, might look a little bit more like a peacock but hey ho, it's only resin at the end of the day it's all good fun it's meant to be fun trying to try new things I've never tried anything like this before um, although I would like to try a couple of other birds I'd like to try a flamingo maybe um, and a couple of other things but um, it's all supposed to be good fun and that's the most important thing to remember if it doesn't go right there's no point falling out with it or getting in a strop with yourself or being disappointed in yourself if you don't if you don't try and you don't push yourself out of your comfort zone then you're just going to keep doing the same things over and over and as a craft artist you're not actually going to grow at all um, and you never know if you try something different it could be something that you absolutely love doing for example those um, pure white 3D um, flowers that I've been doing I absolutely love doing those I could make them and I could look at them all day long but obviously I can't do that I've got to do other things as well but if I hadn't tried them put myself out of my comfort zone and tried them for the first time then who knows where I'd be I wouldn't be doing them now um, so um, it's always good to try things try new things so I'm going to leave that to cure up for now 
and um, once it's cured I'll go over it in the same relief and see where we go from there. It could well end up in the bin, um, who knows, but um, I would, like I say I will have tried and I will have, I will have had fun trying. So I'll say bye for now and I'll be back with another experiment soon. See you soon. Okay, I just thought I'd bring you back and show you what I'm up to with my peacock. Now it's not my finest work, I must admit, um, but I'm going to go over with um, a gold sand relief. Um, Oh, well it's, not, it's not a marker is it a paint i'll call it an acrylic paint pen and try and draw the outline of the peacock to make it stand out a little bit more and draw in some details then once that's dried i'm going to put a final coat on but this could be one of my first experiments that um, may not make it to the actual um channel but we'll see we'll see how it comes out after i've done the sand relief hopefully i can revive it a little but it to me at the moment it's not really looking like a peacock perhaps it's the colors that i've used i don't know um but um i have got another idea for making a peacock and that is just to do the colors um like a rainbow a, a sort of effect if you like but let me go through it let me go over with the sand relief first and see what I can do with that to rescue it um, but I just wanted to show you what I'm up to with it at the moment so I need to sit down while I'm st while I'm filming I'm sta actually standing up okay so I've gone over the peacock with um, the gold sign relief and I'm going to leave that to dry for a couple of hours and then put the final coat of resin over the top and see what it looks like after that. I must admit it looks better than I expected it to look. I'm still not quite 100% happy with it. I think maybe I needed to use different coloured um, chips, chippings. Um, I think I needed more of a contrast between the blues um, and the dark green. I think the dark green might be a little bit dark but um, you live and learn and um, there's always room for improvement for next time. But let's see how this one turns out first. Um, so I'm going to pause now and I'll be back when I'm ready to put the final layer of resin on. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hi, welcome back. The Pebio sign relief seems to have set, so I'm just going to pop on my final layer onto this peacock. I'll just let it spread for a minute because I don't want it to overflow and it is getting quite full. I'm just going to leave it to spread itself, level itself out for a minute and then I'll see what areas need any more putting on. everywhere covered mm. a tiny bit of overspill there I'm probably going to end up sanding as when I unmould it but not to worry I can deal with that later but that's it so I'm going to end the video for now and I will be back tomorrow to demold. Um, I am a little bit happier with it. I'm not 
over the moon with it still but we'll see what it looks like when it's demolded um so i'll say bye for now and i'll see you tomorrow bye hi welcome back right so my peacock is now dried cured up so i'm going to demold him i have got a little bit of overspill um, in some areas that I need to deal with but I knew I had that yesterday um, because I knew I'd overfilled the, the mould um, so let's just have a look put the mould to one side oh wow I'm actually quite pleased with that I didn't think I would be at all I, um, it's not something that I would normally do but I think for a change as I said it's good to change things up and there we go there's my little peacock so I hope you like it I'm going to deal with the overspill and then I'll take some still photos you can actually see through it which is nice um, I am actually surprisingly pleased with it um, I'll take some still photos once I've dealt with the overspill and I'll add them on to the end of the video and I'll post the video for you to see um, but I will do another one which will be slightly different but again it'll be a similar peacock theme um, but um, I think I might do more peacock feathers um, and then just do a little head but I, I, th I wanted to do it without actually doing the peacock on it but I think the peacock actually makes it otherwise it would just be like a rainbow um, but anyway as I say I'm really pleased with that uh, much more than I expected to <coughs> excuse me much more than I expected to be um, so I will say bye for now and I'll be back with a new experiment soon see you soon